Yo gamers, it's your boy Kevman back again with another epic video. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of League of Legends for a person who sucks at the game. So let's get right into it. Now I'm going to start with the stuff that happens before you get into the game. So, your summoner spells. For top lane, you're going to always choose, traditionally, you choose teleport and flash. For jungle, you choose smite and flash. Mid laners, you traditionally choose Ignite and Flash, but for all these lanes, you can go with whatever you want. Not really, though, because your team's going to call you out for inting. We're going to talk about Rands. No runes. First off, let's talk about Triumph. Triumph has um, Press the Attack, Lethal Tempo, and a bunch of other stuff. Those are usually for people who heavy AD damage that are mostly based on um, auto attacks. So that's what you usually go. Sorcery is for mages. So like Arcane Comet Summonary. That's what you take. Domination is usually for assassins like Zed or people who do a lot of burst damage. Um, Resolve is for tanks usually. And uh, Inspiration is for off meta and other stuff. And just a disclaimer. Much of this information in this video is very biased, and most likely incorrect. So, feel free to leave a comment telling me how bad I am at League. Thank you! Now, when you get into the game, your main goal is to CS. Now, there are three kinds of minions. Caster minions, big minions, which are, which are the ones that roll on tanks, and then you have the finer minions. I don't care what you call them. Uh, each of them award you with a different amount of gold. The, the big minions award you more gold the longer the game is gone. And it caps out at, I believe, 90. But that also depends on the game mode. Um, the CSing should be one of the first things that you met that you get down. Because if you don't CS, you're not going to get a sustainable source of gold. And um, it's also very important for lanes like AD carry and top lane, which are very heavily uh, CS um, based. Now, fighting. There's no really way to teach fighting. Just learn from experience. That's really it. I mean, learn the combos on the champ. Watch league videos. That's how you can get better. But let's talk about the most dangerous thing in this game. And the most dangerous part about this game is what I like to call the threshold. The threshold is the point in which you learn how to effectively play this game. This is the point of no return. Once you've, pl once you've passed this point, it's very difficult to quit League. And almost everyone can s that I've played with can say this. I'll show you. You're stuck in an endless cycle of defeat. You'll always keep losing to people who you know are worse than you, but you're just bad. You contemplate thinking of uninstalling the game constantly, but all you, have all you can do is sit there and just... Play and play because it's so difficult to stop. It's like an addiction, but all you have to do is uninstall the game. And even when that happens, it's only like a few gigs. So you can just reinstall it in under an hour. Even if you have a bad PC, you can, and like everyone's always online. And if you, and there's always so many rewards. If you get an S, you can get a chest or you can unlock a mastery and there's constantly new skins coming out and there's the meta is constantly changing you can't do anything to stop okay it's an, it's a repeating cycle they can't stop now i think just about everyone can learn just a little lesson from this video don't play league woo wow this is such an amazing tip guys i mean even if you're losing you can always just quit the game and uninstall it's pretty, it's pretty amazing, guys. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.